And to the beautiful strains of the theme from Love Story played by Dick Van Winkle, which is not his real name, his real name is Mary Van Winkle. <laughs> Please, I should like to tell the story of Romeo and Juliet, the greatest love story of all time. This represents Romeo, blue for a boy. And we'll just tie a little knot at the end, a kind of a, a love knot, I guess. And this represents Juliet, pink for a girl. The story begins in Verona, where they met in a garden and kissed, and then indulged in hanky-panky. Oh, please, this is a serious story. If only we had a garden, I could show you, but where are you going to find a garden on a night like this? We shall enter the garden, perchance, to play the part. Romeo concealed himself on one side of the garden so that Juliet would not see him. In truth, at that stage, he didn't know he was looking for Juliet, who was hidden on this side of the garden. And there they were in a flower-strewn bower. <laughs> Suddenly, and without warning, Romeo did something strange. He kind of popped his cork <laughs> and started to say to himself, I feel bad. In fact, he said, Bad! I'm bad! That's what he said. And he was out there. He was doing his thing. In fact, this man was going wild, trying to find the girl of his dreams. A kind of a, I don't know, a, a pretty woman was what he was looking for. And there she was, waiting for him. So he nipped over and said, if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? And she said, you're the one that I want. You're the one. And so they leapt about together and she said, why don't we go in the greenhouse? So they went into the greenhouse. There was no stopping them. It's a sordid tale. And in they went to the greenhouse. And as they went in, that's when the hanky-panky took place. And I have to tell you, more than hanky-panky took place. They decided to get married. And they decided to have a family. Well, yes, we are family, they said. And because they were family, so the story goes. They all went back into the bottle and they all lived happily ever after. And that's the story. It's a love story.